It has been a little over 10 years since the government-mandated minimum wage was last adjusted. In the intervening time, Belizeans have had to grapple with shifting economic realities brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic, as well as the ever-increasing cost of living. Ahead of the general elections in November 2020, the People's United Party included in its Plan Belize Manifesto a proposed change to the lowest remuneration that employers can legally pay their workers. The, the proposal is looking at a, at a national minimum wage. Um, this means it applies across the board to everyone, whether public or private. Um, and so the, the, the idea is that after this, um, there should be no one um, being paid less than, than um, $5. The government of Belize is the largest single employer. However, work, much like economic development, is largely driven by the private sector. The business community is represented by a few organizations, including the Belize Chamber of Commerce and Industry. As it stands, the price floor below which employees may not sell their labor is $3.30. The Chamber continues to advocate for um, looking at a formula-driven approach where it allows for automatic um, triggers or uh, specific elements that um, move outside of certain parameters to then um, force a, a review at least. And so that then allows for that minimum wage change to occur um, in a more timely manner. On November 25th, 2021, Cabinet requested that the Ministry of Rural Transformation, Community Development, Labor and Local Government develop a plan for the gradual implementation of government's commitment to a $5 minimum wage. It begins with a consultation process that will be overseen by a minimum wage task force and will take into consideration the economic realities mentioned previously. We have to take into account the prevailing realities of the macro environment, macroeconomic environment, and uh, we need people who are skilled to, to be able to assess and analyze that and to advise the, the task force that we have. And then for the task force then to advise the ministry on what is the best. In the coming weeks, the Minimum Wage Task Force and PPF Capital Belize Limited will hold countrywide consultations with key stakeholders and the public, after which a plan for the gradual implementation of the $5 minimum wage will be submitted. The Belize Chamber of Commerce and Industry is represented within that working group. We have a seat at the table to be able to help inform what that final um, decision is. Whatever that final outcome is, it has to take into consideration higher prices for goods and services, as well as a sharp decrease in the purchasing power of money. While we look at it, we appreciate that there has to be um, a livable wage. And of course, that has to be tied into productivity as well. And we recognize that there are quite a lot that's been going up. And, and I think everybody can recognize the, the inflation um, in many areas, housing, transportation, food items. And so obviously there has to be a, a balanced approach in how do we get to um, that improvement or uh, in the, the livable wage side of things, but also ensure that the businesses can adjust to those impacts. It is government's intention to conclude the process within the next five months. All of this we hope to have wrapped up by November of this year. Um, and so we, our, our, our commitment is to have it done before the end of the year. And so our target date is November of, of this year. Um, just so you're aware, there is a ministerial committee, um, the inter-ministerial committee or a subcommittee of the cabinet that um, is overseeing this process, uh, working along with our minister, of course, and, um, and through the labor department, we're working with our our private uh, and civil society and union stakeholders to to ensure that we, we do a thorough job in, in preparing this and, and getting it through. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Kayatano.